it's a competitive environment we're in in potatoes and you have to cut costs and increase efficiency wherever you can. We were digging 12 rows and we were using eight sets of diggers. And uh, our target was to dig four to 450 acres a day with those eight systems. And when we switched to this system with two six row wind rowers and one four row harvester and the increased speed and capacity, we just cut our diggers in half. So we went to half as many tractors, half as many uh, operators. Um, that was probably our, the most significant increase that I saw that I, I didn't think we could get by with only half as much equipment, but we're actually digging more now than we did when we had eight diggers with the previous system. Truck drivers have a habit of getting lost sometimes, and with eight different harvesters in the field, there were more opportunities to get lost. Now they're more focused knowing that where they're supposed to be and when they're supposed to be there, and the rotation works a lot easier, so there aren't as many trucks waiting in the field some of the time and then waiting at the cellar the rest of the time. Well, the design of the machine is a little higher capacity, a little higher speed. I was concerned that we might pick up some brews when we did that, we actually, it helped our brews. We've, we've uh, significantly reduced our brews because the machines stay fuller, uh, less, less drops with only half as many machines, so that naturally helps. But probably the thing that surprised me the most was we were able to cut about a half a dozen trucks out of our system by not having so many locations where a harvester needed a truck. The trucks became more efficient, so I was able to cut five or six trucks and drivers out, and those that are driving are know, know to be in the right place at the right time. And they get into a rotation that they just become more efficient. I've been amazed how efficient they are at not wasting potatoes. We don't have potatoes slobbering over the sides. They don't go over the back, over the vine chain. Um, it might not seem like a lot, but it sure makes you feel better not to see all those potatoes laying in the field when you get done. Well, I felt it saved me money in a lot of ways. Naturally, having to have only half as many tractors in the field was probably the biggest and, and, and greatest savings. Um, uh, big savings on labor. But the other thing that I didn't really count on is I was, I was able to cut three or four days out of my harvest time. And by cutting three or four days out of my harvest time, I can let the crop grow that extra three or four days, get a little better yield. It might not work that, that way every year, but it gives me a lot more control knowing that I can complete harvest quicker. So between labor, fuel, equipment cost is a very significant saving. I've been very pleased with the system and have recommended it several times. Sometimes you don't like to be one of the first ones to get the bugs worked out, but um, Spudnik has worked very well if they have any kind of a, an issue on improving it. They're ahead of the curve and they're fair to fix it and do the updates you need to so you always have the best equipment. My name's Carl Taylor from Taylor Farms in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Been growing potatoes my whole life. Love to grow potatoes and love the big boy toys and the equipment that we get to have to grow potatoes. <laughs>